In Dr. Joe Schwartz's YouTube video on spirulina, he says that not only is spirulina overrated, but it's also not a great source of protein. He says specifically, there are far better and cheaper sources of protein available than spirulina, and I've been saying the same thing. So what does he mean by this? Many people are led to believe that spirulina is a great source of protein, and the problem probably lies with the fact that many people search for spirulina and its benefits and come across some of these same resources. These health sites will usually list one of the top benefits of spirulina as being high in protein. And that's because spirulina is made up of about 60% protein, which is higher than most foods. There's a little bit of a problem with this, however, and that's that you eat a much smaller amount of spirulina than you do most other foods. The recommended amount of spirulina to take per day is about three grams. And guess how much protein you actually get from this amount? The results might actually shock you. You get a measly two grams of protein. Just to put that into perspective, a meager slice of bread alone has anywhere from four to five grams of protein. That's more than double the amount that you get from spirulina. A single scoop of peanut butter has four grams of protein, also double the amount of protein that you get from spirulina. If you were to eat a single peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you would get almost seven times the amount of protein that you get from spirulina. Are you seeing why spirulina may not be a great protein source now? What makes it even more confusing is sometimes sites or companies will list the nutritional profile of a large amount of spirulina, such as an ounce. So you may see something like 16 grams of protein listed, but that's well above the amount that you would actually eat in a day. Another benefit claimed about spirulina's protein is that it has all nine essential amino acids. And while this is true, I just did a video on some new research showing that all plant-based foods have all the nine essential amino acids. So this really isn't a benefit or a reason to take spirulina. Dr. Schwartz recommends a protein powder if you're concerned about getting protein. Why? because a protein powder is gonna be almost 100% protein, which is well higher than spirulina, and you can take it at much larger doses. Meaning you could easily add a scoop of soy protein into your daily routine and get an extra 20 grams of protein, which is well higher than what you would get from spirulina and at a much lower cost. Remember to subscribe and check out these videos next where I talk about why I started chlorella as a better option to spirulina and why all plant-based foods actually have all the essential amino acids.